Hello fifth grade artists. This is Miss Funk from Gatewood and Tanglin. Today I'm going to walk you through the photo triptych project. The learning targets for this project are, I can describe a triptych. I can learn about the art of Ade Adesokan. I can create my own triptych portrait and I can enhance my work through poetry. A triptych is a set of three artistic, literary, or musical works intended to be appreciated together. In books and movies, it is often referred to as a trilogy. Think about the word triptych and the word trilogy. What do they have in common and why might it have something to do with the number of works in the combination? So take a look. We've got three triptychs here. One is the Hunger Games series by Susan Collins. Another is called Three Studies for a Self-Portrait in 1980 by Francis Bacon. And the other is the Ashwellthorpe Triptych. It is from 1520 and it's by the Master of the Legend of the Magdalene. A lot of times artists in the olden days had some pretty amazing names for themselves. This is the artist that we're going to learn about today, Ade Adesokan. He's a self-taught photographer born and raised in Germany to Nigerian parents. He lives and works in Hamburg, Germany. He has a collection of portraits of strangers in triptych form. Because he concentrates on the hands, face, and feet, some say his work focuses on moments and details that are easy to overlook. Here are four portraits by Ade Adesokan. Here's also a quote that he has said. Hands and feet are important. I would say they tell a story. Take a moment to look at these portraits and see if you can see the story that each of them is telling. Now we have some student portrait triptychs. Take a look at these portraits and see what you can notice. What has each person decided is important in showing people about themselves? So they have their face, they have their hands, and they have their feet. Here's a few more. And as you're looking at these examples, start thinking about what you might be holding in your hands, wearing on your head, wearing on or doing with your feet. Think about that. In the next segment, I am going to be walking you through making the actual project. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to make a portrait triptych. I was lucky enough to get my husband to play along with this, so he's who you will be seeing in my portrait triptych. This is an example right here, and I'm going to read through the instructions and help you through it step by step. All right, so step one, gather three items that you have in your home that represent you. A, to wear on your head, B, to hold in your hands, C, to wear on your feet. Note, if you're making a portrait of someone else in your home, ask them to follow step one. So I asked my husband to follow step one. Two, stand still, you or the other person, for three photographs on your iPad. A, a bust, that's the shoulders and head. B, hands holding your object. And C, feet from your shins down. Note, you may edit your photos or leave them just as they are. Black and white might be a fun option. I used the editing tools in just my photos. After I took the photos, I clicked on edit and I found different color options. I chose black and white for mine. All right, so now you're going to open Pick EDU app and choose grids. All right, so Pick EDU, the one with the apple, and choose grids. Select the three photos that you just took. I'm gonna go face first, then hands, then feet. And then I'm going to click the check mark. All right, so it's gonna take you right to layout. So you wanna go on the layout option first. Pick an option in which you have the head at the top, torso in the middle, and feet at the bottom. There are several options to click through. So try them out, see what you like. I personally think that the three even horizontals make the most sense. Once you have uh, an option for your layout, then hit size, and you can kind of test it out and see if you wanna make it a little maybe taller, maybe a little wider, maybe even a lot wider. I personally, again, I like the one that says story right here. 
makes it a little bit taller. You can kind of see what's going on there. Uh, I forgot to move my feet and my hands in the right spot. So I'm just gonna hold on to the hands one and kind of, oops, hold on to the hands one and just move it up to where the feet were. Okay, so back to layout. Here I am, I did my layout, I changed the size, and now I'm going to click the background option. Choose a background from the options available or choose an image from your camera roll or internet. So uh, if you wanted to search the internet, go to the little magnifying glass at the bottom corner and you can take a look and see, ooh, nature might actually be a really good option for this one. So I'll go right here. Okay, so there's a background that could work with his portrait. I actually really like that. Maybe I'll use that. All right, so once you have your background, you have your pictures just the way you'd like them, you are going to click done. All right, so I've got my little check here, click done, and save to library. All right, so now that's saved to my library, and what I will do next is open my art seesaw, upload my portrait triptych to the activity template, and since I'm the teacher, I'm not gonna do this. You've, you've uploaded things before, so you know how to do it. And if you don't, ask for help. Um, and then using either the text tool or the microphone tool, describe the triptych in the form of an I am or they are poem. So here's an example. This is Peter. Peter is a Packers fan. Peter loves his dog. Peter goes hunting. So what I've just done there is I've described the hat in the top picture, the leash and collar in the second picture, and all of my husband's hunting and fishing foot gear. So the poem doesn't have to be very um, involved. It can be very, very short. It can just be one sentence about each one, and it should start with either I am or the name of the person that you did your portrait of is, 